Well, hi guys, how are you? Type A here. So, uh, this is going to be the last video on this like walk through Europa series. I'm sorry that it took me so long to make this video. I really wasn't in the mood, and each time I have a a bit of free time, I was like, oh my god, let's do something different. I'm not in the mood for this shit. But yeah, so. Uh, I explained the first part like uh, something like a uh, very like general and then I went through the engines and so in this video we're just basically going to check the this like mixer section the master filter the amp section which is pretty straightforward then we're going to look through the modulation uh, tab here which is like a bit has a, like a different features and um, then that basically this tab over here is the modulation section like the matrix and this is like the different uh, mod Modulation sources you have in Europa, which is it's a lot. It's a four uh, multi-stage envelopes which you can basically add points and move it around and You have three LFOs which are identical and they are pretty straightforward too, but yeah, it's really nice um, you know like finally the, the 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 built-in effects you have like six effects right and this first unit has a chorus a flanger and a phaser distortion eq delay a, a compressor and a reverb and you can change the order by dragging the stuff so that's basically it and um, yeah so well the mixer section here it basically is going to allow you to mix the volume of the different uh, engines load one two three the panning and in this uh, box here in the filter part you can basically tell uh, each unit if you want to to run it through the master filter once you have it you can use this drive node to up saturation uh, resonance for the filter you have a multi-mode filter with you know like low pass band pass high pass like louder low pass filter some really interesting stuff it basically it's like a more analog sounding like filter is not nothing related to the spectral filter that we've seen in the previous video but yeah it's really really nice thing to have because it can add this warmth to your sound you you're basically making a, a low pass coarse synth sound with a saw, saw waveform and some unison it's going to really uh, be like really cool um same as the as the different sections here you have a already uh, the filter cutoff like the frequency uh, map to a uh, to envelope two. Well, I mean you can change the The modulation source, but it's already mapped is go it goes from zero to a hundred percent So it's always positive if you're going to use this tab uh, Then you have a um, keyboard like uh, keyboard tracking is always engaged So if you don't want that uh, you just need to basically turn that off or reduce it uh, And you have also velocity the velocity is engaged to to the filter frequency and finally over this part you have the the amp uh, the amp section which is basically a master uh, the, like a, the amplitude envelope of the entire sound so you just want to make a plug out of the let me reset this uh, sorry reset and you want to make this a plug just turn the sustain down You can modulate this in this tab and uh, there's a lot of stuff that you can do using you know, like all the modulation sources available and finally you can set uh, the voices the voicing of the synth and the um, master volume it's pretty straightforward this part and over here you have the you know if you want the the synth to be polyphonic like uh, legato or you just want basically one voice to trigger each time you press a note uh, with this re-trigger and then you have portamento you can set the time over here and you basically set this to the trigger set the fundamental legato you get this slide uh, effect at the beginning of each note which is really really cool for a uh, lead type sounds and basically it's just one course or something to a slide and have this amazing like movement it's, it's really cool uh, the envelopes are all the same. You have a uh, presets for envelopes here. If you want to, you know, like use something like this and uh, have it going to to your filter. Uh, let me see. You can 
can change the speed and if you just hit this bit sync you just basically like uh, syncing that to your to the clock of your of your tempo so it's like it like actual measures and not hertz and this is really cool to just uh, to pl play with this stuff so you, like i said you have like a, a these different presets it's usually you have like uh, these initial presets and this is this one is the the easiest to modify but yeah you just know that you can switch over here and if you just have like this um, there are presets like this i think if you use this stuff you can this edit position like a function you can if you have like uh, lines draw you can basically use this to make like sequences and you know like a traditional step sequencer and you can use this uh, feature to modify this that's pretty cool also as you can see that the envelope is looping right now we have the, the loop enable if you don't have the loop to go you can basically use the sustain so if you start like um, uh, it, it goes from zero to the point where you, you tell him to su sustain the sound or if you don't want that to sustain it's basically just going and finish at the, at the you know like at the end uh, if you want if you have it in loop mode you can use the key trigger so each time you press the key it will trigger from the beginning to the end otherwise it's going to be like going on and on and that's really cool because uh, sometimes you're making a bad sound and you want uh, you know like a like um you said this in like, like uh, not a specific timing and you don't want that uh, each time you do press a note the envelope to trigger so to uh, to add the motion and don't stop and this is really cool to do because it's looping but it's not retreating itself yeah so the envelopes are all the same so basically knowing one you know how to go around with the other ones and something really cool that I think I've missed is that uh, here in the spectral filter uh, you have like a, a an, how can I say that it's like uncommon feature you can actually set the envelope forward to be a filter and if you set this stuff and you add resonance it's basically seeing this shape and you can uh, you know like um, mess around with this stuff you see and you're basically modifying your filter to be according with this shape so this is pretty mathematical and <laughs> i think you can get some pretty weird results using this stuff and that's how you know it's a really cool to to know i didn't when i went through the filter i i see all this stuff the user wave which you, which you load over here and then you can use a, an imported waveform as a filter as well but yeah you can actually pretty much draw whatever you want to have it as a filter so if you have like a, a really simple sound going on at the beginning and you're like a, oh my god i want to try a different filtering so it's like more interesting you can basically just start drawing the shit and you can get a pretty good results i think and then there's the lfos the lfos are basically the same as the envelopes they are unique uh, um, unique but they are the same so you have the delay which is going to delay the lfo uh, according to the frequency and the stuff that you said over here you can bit sync your lfo to go according to your timing and key sync is going to do the same it's going to reset the lfo from zero to like the face of the lfo as soon as you hit a note uh, i'm not completely sure what this global turn means i just think it's going to uh, I'm seeing now that this uh, global thing is uh, all over the place, but I need to look better to that. And yeah, so you have several waveforms. You have like sine, triangle, square, like ramp up. Uh, uh, basically, this is square thingy, which is kind of cool. Then like a ramp down, but with the uh, with less uh, decay. Um, there are all sorts of weird stuff and i think this one is like a like a noise so it's going to like completely randomize and then over this part is uh, really cool you have the modulation assignment and basically it goes like this you select your source for instance if you just want to the mod wheel to modulate the filter we go to performance uh, mod wheel and then it's i mean you can go to the destination and look for it but it's just better if you 
look for this arrow you uh, click and drag with your mouse and if you want the the mod wheel to control the the, the main free uh, filter frequency just basically leave it here and it's going to look for you and then you basically uh, set the amount you can go from zero to a hundred percent or from zero to um, minus a hundred percent so yeah so something like this <laughs> much valid for all the parameters here like for instance let me WA almost here and it's one the the same mod wheel to control the amount of delay that I'm going to use and set the you know like this to something like this and go to the arrow and drag it over here so delay amount <laughs> And there's a lot of stuff that can be modulated internally and yeah so you have like velocity your LFOs your envelopes can control anything uh, performance like of this weird thing like your keyboard random I don't know exactly how that random works but I guess we can try that out when we were making sounds there's a lot of stuff that you can do with this and also the CD inputs which are on the back of the rack um, basically you can use the CD the control voltages of other scene you can map that over here and then you can control I know like uh, the filter with the CD voltages of another instance of Europa or whatever you want inside reason but that's really too complex right now and um, this is not meant to be like the most advanced walkthrough of this thing I just think it's really easy to get going with it and that's just what I want to pass along um, yeah so finally over here um, Oh, there's also this scale function, which this is basically when you want to, for instance, make like a vibrato effect and you want the, the mod wheel to control, to control the pitch variation um, in an in a, in a oscillator and also you want that to increase the, like the amount of the, of the pitch variation, like scale that and that's how you do it and I'm not going to, to, to show you right now because I want to start doing this stuff like when we go through the, all the different videos like basically making actual sounds with Europa and yeah so finally to conclude this stuff because I think it's, yeah, it's, it's a pretty long video uh, the effects again you can pretty much have different options, options for all of them and uh, you can basically turn the complete unit off by here with this like uh, on off effect on or effect off uh, button here and um, yeah so if you want to turn like the phaser, the phaser on just basically go here and then you choose for the phaser flange or coast several distortion types including distortion screening tube signs and uh, sign distortion sample and hold and remodulation you have an eq delay a compressor with you know like pretty common like features and a reverb and that's basically it for Europa uh, so if you just watch this, just go to the other videos, watch the other videos, because I think that's going to help you a bit. And yeah, so next couple of videos are going to be like making lead sounds, bass, pads, plugs, synth sounds, trying to make some weird effects, which I'm sure that I... But yeah, ho hope you enjoy this guys, uh, and leave your comments if you want to see any particular thing about Europa, I'll try and do my best to help you with that. Peace, peace.